graft 19. What is graft here? Well, we shaded the side. So that means it has to be an inequality. So it's got to be a Y either greater than or less than. Now let's think. I shaded this direction. That's going what? Up. So it's got to be a greater than. The line is solid. That means the points on it are solutions. So I need to put the or equal to. Now, all I need is the equation. Well, if we look at the line, again, let me clear that out so we can see it a little bit better. So let's see, where does it cross? Crosses right here, negative three is the y-intercept, and it seems to go up three over one, up three over one. Now it's going up to the left, so that's gonna be a negative three x, and then it crosses at negative three. So there's what you have for graph 19. There's the inequality that is graphed. 20, it says, hey, what's the range? Now, who are the range? The range are your Y values. We don't care about left and right. Left and right is what? Your X's. We want up and down. That's our range. It's our Y's. So what is this height? It has a height right here at one. And then the guy continues to go down forever. So it's every Y that seems to be under one. Now it does include one. So we would just say, hey, it's every y less than or equal to the one. That's our range. Oh, let's do one more. In the function f of x equals negative 2x squared, what is f of negative 3? All it's saying is take negative 3 and plug it into the x value. So f of negative 3 is equal to negative 2 times X's value is negative three. So we want to do negative three squared, then multiply by negative two. We've got to follow the order of operations. So negative two times, what's negative three times negative three? Positive nine. And negative two times positive nine? Negative 18.